Live on air. So here is the deal with Google Duplex. You all are about to make uh, history with us as we, for Woo! the first time ever, for the first time in the history of the internet, we are going to test Google Duplex live. Live, live! Yeah. If you haven't seen it yet, go out to YouTube and just type in Google Duplex. You'll see Sundar Pichai from a couple of years ago where he's up on stage. Let's say you want to ask Google to make you a haircut appointment on Tuesday between 10 and noon. Hi, I'm calling to book a woman's haircut for a client. Um, I'm looking for something on May 3rd. Sure, give me one second. Mm-hmm. So, so for those of you that are just joining us, apparently, apparently that feature's been rolled out to a whole bunch of other states. And we're about to figure out what happens. Yeah. We have no idea. We have never tested this before, so we are just gonna see what happens. Book a table for four at Mitchell's Steakhouse tomorrow night. And now we play the waiting game. All right, game. let's make a reservation for four people at Mitchell's Steakhouse. At what time? 7 p.m. All right, for 7 p.m. tomorrow, should I book it? Yes. Sounds good. To complete your reservation, I need to share your contact details with OpenTable. Okay, it's gonna give my personal information. <laughs> <laughs> It was. It needed to validate my phone number and email address. And you don't. You don't feel like you can trust all the people on the internet. No, I don't <laughs> feel like I can trust the people on the I internet. Give me my Britney Spears headset. Here you go. So right now, the Google Assistant is trying to verify all of his details because he doesn't want to put that stuff on the internet. Would you like me to say that answer so you can skip it next time? Yes. Yes, I would. I think I can do this live to where you guys won't hear my phone number and email address. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Book a table for four people. Tomorrow night at Mitchell's Steakhouse. Speaking is hard. All right, let's make a reservation for four people at Mitchell's Steakhouse. At what time? 8 p.m. Got it, for 8 p.m. tomorrow. Yes, I wanna book it. All right, should I book? And now do the All right, since this is your first reservation, I need to inform you that by completing this reservation, you agree to the reserve with- <laughs> You like, ah, what are terms and conditions? Nobody Sounds reads Sounds good. Anymore. I booked a table at Mitchell's Steakhouse for 4 at 8 p.m. tomorrow using OpenTable. That's the difference. Look yeah. for an email confirmation with the details. <clears throat> Preston makes a good point. Now, I did see on Duplex's, Duplex's Google, pay, Google page that businesses have to enable it through Google My Business. That might impact this. I wonder if that's listed on Google My Business. It, I, if yes, you can it figure out this. Yeah, so like on Google Duplex Maps. Duplex friendly or whatever. If you go to uh, Google Maps, yeah. you can actually see that uh, Mitchell's where I pick. Yeah. It has go there, open table. Uh, okay, so now yeah, I'm gonna pick one. I don't know if this place even takes like reservations. Book a table for four at Tip Top Kitchen and Cocktails tomorrow night. Well, I can't make reservations at that particular restaurant, here's their phone number. So that one doesn't have it enabled. So my question is, yeah. how are we supposed to know which ones are enabled? Like, I, how would I know that? I agree with you. Also, but... remind me I need to cancel a reservation. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you right now that I just had to cancel, oh, like, it absolutely flawlessly yeah. worked. Yeah. Open. Yeah. Oh yeah, it absolutely did. Via open table. I'm trying to figure out like where could, like where could I go and use this? It, it's all not US. Interesting. Yeah. Like when I clicked hey, on that last you... one, table check, not US. It says Yelp though. Yelp's a big one. That's a okay, big that's, one. That's kind of a big one. So I went to this list of places on Yelp through Google site. Okay. So it's a partner. Okay. I have no idea if they're on open pages. Oh, open pages? Open table. That one. Watch last week. Book show. a table for four at the Sycamore tomorrow night. Last week was a lot of fun because Scott forgot how to speech. It was Okay, hilarious. I'll call to make a reservation for hey. four people at the Sycamore. At what time? 7 p.m. Sure, for 7 p.m. tomorrow. Just in case that's not available, can I try between 7 p.m. and 8 p.m.? No, I'm gonna say 6.30 to 7.30. Sure, for 6.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Yep, that had my phone number in it. <laughs> as soon as you confirm, I'll call the restaurant and book it under Scott with the phone number. Uh, hey, oh, 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 there's a number there. <laughs> so stupid. We're so prepared. We're so prepared. Confirm. God, that's hilarious. <laughs> 
and update you within the next 15 minutes. Okay, you so... You can always ask me about your reservations to check the status. Okay. That's cool. That worked! So when it's done, it'll just show up on your calendar as it So anyway. when it's done, what's supposed to happen is, is that once your reservation is successfully made, you'll get a notification on your phone, an email update, and a calendar invite so you don't forget. So I, right now, it is calling the business. So the Google Assistant is calling huh. the business. I, Much to your point, I wish I wish I could hear what that sounds like. This is, I think this is gonna work. Are I you can't. actually gonna go to the second morning? No, no, I'm not gonna go. I just wanted to see if it was gonna work. Oh, no, I mean, unless they wanna sponsor the channel, but if that's the case, welcome to Technically Speaking. <laughs> Sponsored currently by the Sycamore. And if you wanna know how to actually book the Sycamore oh. using your Google Assistant, just give your Google Assistant, or give your Google Pixel 3 a squeeze on the side and say you wanna book a room. Or a room, or a hotel, or whatever, <laughs> with the it's Sycamore. Great commercial. So long story short, you have to do a bit of research as an end user to know what you can and cannot do. But to the point of, okay, it's on Yelp, hang on a second. Yeah. Yelp is huge. I guess from the end user perspective, if I squeeze my phone or tell the Google Assistant, to book, I must keep saying hotel, that's not what I want to do. If it uses open pages or if it uses, oh my God, I did it again. <laughs> what is wrong with me? If it uses open table or it uses the Google Assistant where it goes and calls for you, as an end user, who cares? Yeah. You got your reservation. Yeah. Whether it's, again, through open table, that's fine. I just think it's way cooler that I'm making another human being talk to a very, very much AI. Yeah. yeah. I am genuinely shocked if this I'm is going to work. They said that it's going to take about 15 minutes, uh -huh. so we can talk about something else and then, um, you know, the stay magic tuned. magic of edits. Yeah, via, via the magic of post-production, we will tell you right now if it worked. Ah. I got it back. Can't make your reservation, however, the Sycamore does have openings at 5 p.m. and 8 p.m. I'm telling you, <clears throat> I would say that's a success. I think it's a success. That is yeah. dope. If you want to actually test it and see that the Google Assistant works, squeeze your phone and give it a shot. Start at Yelp, look there, and then go try it for yourself because I did it live on air and it worked. Surprisingly. Yeah. That was really cool. No, that's the outro right there. Nice. We just recorded a video inside of a video. It's videos all the way down. Done. <laughs>